What's up everybody, I'm Tim from Timber Ridge Gifts. So I've left the candle shop today, we're on a mission to gather supplies. To do that, we're gonna to head to one of my favorite stores for candle supplies. Good old Dollar Tree. Now, if you've never been to the Dollar Tree, it's a great place to pick up uh, candle supplies, whether you actually own a candle shop and make candles for a business, or if you're just a hobbyist looking for a cool uh, DIY thing to do over the weekend. So pretty much everything you need, you can find here at the Dollar Tree. Now I've already been inside to talk to the lady inside to see about filming. Didn't seem too happy about that. I probably didn't explain myself very well. But either way, she didn't want me in there filming. So we're going to leave the camera here. I'm going to go inside and load up on supplies. And I'll show you what they got. All right, so you guys just wait here. I'll be back in just a few. All right, we are all loaded up, so let's get these home and show you what I got. Okay, so we're home from the Dollar Tree. Let's uh, open up these bags and see what we come up with. Okay, so the first thing we'll check out is all the glassware that they have. Uh, this is just a small fraction of what they've actually got at the store. <clears throat> so if you actually go to the store, you can find pretty much anything that you're looking for. Uh, just an example, some of the ones I bought, they've got these great status jars and tumblers that you can choose from. These will make great candles. They actually have uh, mason jars. You can just get a regular mason jar or a mason jar mug with a handle. Just all kinds of just unique glassware that you can turn into candles, you know, including uh, these nice hearts and the stars. Uh, I guarantee you if you go to Etsy right now, you can type in, uh, you can do a search for a, or for a heart shaped candle and you're gonna see quite a few of these. So now you know where they got it. So that's great if you're just doing a at-home project just for something to do, or if you're looking for a sustainable source for your glassware, for your candle making business. Uh, the great thing about this is they have a lot of this on hand. They probably had 50 of these just on the shelf. There's no telling what they had in the back. You can actually buy this from the store, buy the case. Uh, if they don't have what you need on hand, you can order it from their website. Uh, it's still the same price. There are minimum quantity orders that you have to order from the website. For example, you couldn't just order 10 of these. You might have to order uh, two cases, which would be 24 or 48, however they got these priced. But the great thing about it is you can uh, pay for shipping, have it sent to your house, or you can have it sent to your uh, local Dollar Tree store for free. Um, just go in, pick it up from the store. So if you've ever had glassware shipped to your house or paid shipping for glassware, you know it can get pretty expensive pretty quick. So to find a deal where your glassware itself is only a dollar and you can basically have free shipping, you can't really beat that if something like this interests you. So that's it for the glassware. Uh, I bought maybe 10 pieces here. Like I said, it's just a fraction of what they actually have. So definitely worth the check out. Let's check out what we got coming up next. Okay, next up is the wax that they sell. They sell just plain old, no frills, uh, unscented par paraffin wax. Uh, you can buy it in several different forms. They sell this pack of two uh, taper candles. You can buy packs of uh, tea light candles. You can buy these small pillar candles. Or you can buy these packs of emergency candles. We don't really care what kind of a, a form it's in at this point, or which one of these we can actually get our hands on, because we're going to melt it down and uh, make our own candle project anyway. Um, if you're just trying to get the best bang for your buck, this actually is the uh, the best deal. Uh, this is about seven seven ounces of wax for a dollar, whereas this is six, and these are both four. So this is the best bang for your buck. Uh, you can buy this by the case as well. Uh, so you get a six in here. Uh, there's a dollar for the pack of six, and like I said, it's about seven ounces of wax. This is just the plain unscented wax. They do sell a, a couple other goodies. Uh, they Pretty much everything you see here, they'll sell in scented wax as well. They have vanilla and fresh linen and black cherry, maybe a couple others. It'll come in different colors, uh, different scents as well. They do sell uh, fragrance oil. This isn't the kind of fragrance oil that we're going to be adding to candles. This is actually a warming oil. So it's not going to work the same as uh, in an actual candle where it's being burnt by a flame. But this will work great if you're going to make wax melts or something. So we'll see this again later when I show you a couple of the uh, DIY, DIY projects that we can do. And there's the uh, black cherry wax melts. We're going to use these in a DIY project later too. 
just something to know that they have if you wanted to add a splash of color or maybe a scent to whatever uh, at-home project that you're going to make. That's all the wax that they had. Um, like I said, this is going to be great for a kind of a weekend DIY project. It's not going to be great to uh, look to for uh, an actual sustainable uh, supplier source. This is a dollar for seven ounces. So if you're doing the math, that's roughly two fifty a pound. It's pretty expensive for paraffin wax. But if we're just needing, just if we're in a pinch and we need a little bit to top off a, a uh, order that we have, or if we're just looking at, for some at-home fun, this is a great place to look. And just a few of the miscellaneous things they have. They've got these uh, great gift containers, gift boxes. So if you're making a candle or something to give to somebody as a gift, this can be great to pick up too. Add a nice little bit of a professional looking gift wrapping to whatever uh, gift you're going to give to somebody. Uh, they sell these uh, tea light wax burners or wax melters for a dollar. That'll make a great gift in addition to something that we're going to do later. And occasionally you can find these uh, seasonal uh, ice cube trays. These work great for wax melts. In addition to that, they have plenty of other things that I didn't buy. They've got a great uh, uh, party selection or a, uh, like a floral decorating selection. So you can find all kind of uh, you know, decorative items to decorate whatever you're going to do if you're doing an at-home DIY project. You can find pretty much anything you needed to uh, finish it up with a nice decoration. That's basically just a nutshell of what they've actually got. I picked up mainly what I needed to show you for uh, what I'm going to do for the rest of the video. Let's put some of it together and I'll show you a couple of uh, fun projects you can do by yourself at home. Make ourselves some wax melts. We've got this cute little uh, tea light wax warmer that we got for a dollar. So it'd be cool to have some wax melts to use in that that we can say we made on, on our own or be something neat to give to someone as a gift. So for that, all we're going to do, we've got our uh, our candle pouring pot from the candle room. If you don't have something like this, you can just use like a regular pot, maybe make yourself a double boiler. So for this, all we're going to do is just take our uh, tea lights. We're going to set a couple of them aside so we can actually use those with the... Uh, with the uh, tea light burner. All we're gonna do is just, uh, we're gonna go ahead and melt the wax out of this. These just dump right out. You can use a uh, butter knife if you have to. <clears throat> okay, so we've got all of our tea lights in there. We're just gonna leave the wick tabs in them. Once it melts down, we can just take a fork and scoop those out. That'll be no big deal. So we're gonna go and put these on the stove and I'll show you the next step. Okay, now to make our actual wax melts, a couple different ways we can do it. Uh, if you were able to find some of these, you can use the ice cube trays to make wax melts. We can reuse the, uh, the little aluminum cups that the uh, tea lights came in. Or we can just make ourselves like a nice, uh, a nice wax melt bark. All we're going to do is just take a sheet of aluminum foil. We're just going to bend it up and make ourselves like a nice little tray out of it. So when you're done, it's just going to look a little something like that. That's just going to be something we can pour the wax in. It's nice and disposable. Once the wax dries, we'll be able to break it up into smaller pieces so that we can actually use it in our uh, wax melter. Let's go check on our wax. Okay, our wax is all melted. Now we can just take a fork and just scoop those wick tabs out. And we can toss those out. We don't really need those for anything. The wax is going to be pretty hot at this point. If you're doing this with your kids, just want to be mindful. This, Once it's completely melted, after that last little bit melts away, you can figure it's going to be about 180, 185 degrees. Definitely not something you want little hands touching in. So we're just going to let that sit for a few minutes, let it cool down. If we were measuring the temperature, ideally we'd want it to be about 150 when we go on the next step. Okay, once it cools down to the point where you can touch it, it's going to be kind of like a, maybe like a warm cup of coffee. Then you know that's roughly around 150 degrees, so we can go and add our, uh, our fragrance oil at this time. 
this isn't the kind this is a uh, actually a warming oil so it's not going to be good for candles because it's not going to burn right it's not going to give off the scent when it's burnt by a flame but it's meant to be war burnt on a warmer which is basically what we're going to be doing here so it's going to be great to add to this plain wax to give our uh, scented wax melts that actual smell so for this one we bought a uh, vanilla ice cream it smells really good so we're just going to add this to our wax give it a good stir make sure everything's mixed up Okay, now we can go ahead and take our tray or our wax melts or whatever we're going to pour this wax into to make our tarts. Now we can go ahead and pour it. Doing it this way is going to make what they call a wax bark. It's going to look really cool. Uh, once it dries, we're going to be able to break it up. And then they can just pick which piece they want and put it on the wax burner really neat idea but at this point it's just kind of white and plain so now we can uh, go a step further and kind of uh, dress it up a little bit for that we're just going to take one of our uh, scented colored wax melts that we bought at the Dollar Tree and we're going to go ahead and melt this down and so our tray is dried we've got our wax melt melted now we're just going to take we're just going to kind of drizzle it over the top doing my best to make a pretty design We'll let that dry for a few minutes. Okay, so here's what our finished product's gonna look like. We can go ahead and take it out of the uh, tray. See, from there we can just uh, break this apart or cut it up into small pieces. Now we can use this ourselves. Or if we wanted to give, us a, give it as a gift, pick up one of the uh, Nice gift boxes they have. Box everything up. That'll make an awesome gift to, some, to give to somebody. Really nice homemade gift you can give to somebody. Uh, all the supplies we bought, including the gift wrapping, was $5. So that'd be an awesome gift to give to someone that would enjoy homemade things and would appreciate something that you made for them.